Welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into the newest tech products. Today, we're taking a look at whether you should buy the 8700K or the 8086K. But before we delve into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more videos just like this one. First of all, before we go any further, I want to tell you guys that there are not going to be any benchmarks in this video because there are already very many benchmarks on the internet and I simply want to offer another perspective for you guys. So, as you guys all know, the i7-8700K was a rushed release from Intel at the beginning of October last year and it had 6 cores and 12 threads with a base frequency of 3.7GHz and a max turbo frequency of 4.7GHz. We were all hoping to hear about the expected octa-core processor and the Z390 platform from Intel at Computex. However, we did not hear anything about that. Instead, we heard about an overhyped 28-core CPU from Intel, which was completely destroyed by AMD's new Threadripper CPUs. If you guys are interested in the Intel 28-core CPU or the AMD Threadripper CPUs that are coming out in August, then make sure to click the link right here. But anyways, at Computex, Intel also revealed a new CPU called the 8086K, which is going to be yet another hexacore processor. However, the base and boost clock of the 8086K is just a mere 300 megahertz faster than the 8700K, with its base frequency at 4 gigahertz and its max turbo frequency at 5 gigahertz. So it's pretty much just bin 8700Ks, which Intel is selling for a much more expensive price. It was actually expected to cost as much as $530 on release. However, the price is actually much cheaper at $425. At that price point, the 8086K is only $45 more than the 8700K. So is it worth it now? Well first, let's take a look at the performance of these two chips. Well they are just pretty much identical chips with just a few hundred megahertz difference in speed. But how does it differ when it's overclocked? So as for the 8700K, pretty much all 8700Ks can overclock easily to 5 GHz provided efficient cooling and maybe even more if you're lucky. The 8086K can pretty much overclock to 5.2 GHz and if you're lucky you may be able to squeeze out a little bit more than that. So when it's overclocked, it's actually just a 200 MHz difference. So unfortunately, not that much really. Recently, there has been a lot of hype around the 8086K because this one person was able to overclock the 8086K using liquid nitrogen all the way to 7.24 GHz. And so that clearly shows how much potential the 8086K has, right? Well, not really, because if you go back a couple of months, the 8700K was actually able to overclock all the way to 7.3 GHz. Now, granted, it did take them a couple of CPUs to get to that number, but that just shows how close the 8700K and the 8086K really are. Unfortunately, there really is not that big of a difference, at least on the performance side. So what about price? How is the price going to differ between the two CPUs overall? Honestly, I believe that the 8086K will drop to $400 in just a couple of weeks on most retailers online like Amazon and Newegg. Right now you can get the 8700K on Newegg and Amazon for about $350 and sometimes even less. So about a $50 difference is what we're going to be expecting between these two chips. So you're pretty much paying an extra $50 for just 200 megahertz of performance. So it's really not worth it. Finally, before I discuss whether or not you should buy this chip and if it really is worth it, I think that it is important to point out that this chip is an anniversary chip, so it has that name associated with it while the 8700K does not. So as a result, even a couple years from now, you will always have a special ship if you opt to go with the 8086K. So if you are interested in that, then this may be something to consider. So is the 8086K worth it? Well, for 99% of you guys, in my opinion, it is definitely not worth it because the performance that it provides is so marginal, but the price is $50 more and I really don't think the price is worth the performance. In all honesty, no one should actually buy this chip because it really provides nothing over the 8700K. However, humans don't always make purchases just based on whether or not it's worth it. Sometimes people just want it, and that's completely fine as long as that doesn't lead to detriments in other PC parts. As a result, I believe that this chip is designed for the novelty builder who already has all the top of the line products on the mainstream platform and they don't really care about an extra $50 and would like to have a novelty associated with this chip. So considering that, 
If you're in that situation and you do want this chip for the novelty and the little bit extra speed that you get on top of the 8700K, then I definitely do think that it is worth it for you guys. But if you're looking for value, then this is not the chip for you. However, if you guys are an average PC builder or gamer, then I definitely recommend that you guys stay away from this chip. And if you want the best performance for the price ratio, then I definitely recommend that you guys go with the 8700K or even better, the 2700X, which is the best value for the price. And if you really want performance, then I recommend that you guys wait for the 9700K. So really, this chip is only for the novelty builder who would like to have some uniqueness associated with their build. But that's just what I think. How do you guys feel about this chip? Do you guys think that the 8086K is completely pointless and at this point Intel should have actually released the 8 core 16 thread CPU as the 8086K? Or do you think that this chip has its own special place? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also if you guys would like to see more videos just like this then make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you guys like this video. But until next time, bye.